Millions of excitable space nerds huddled around their devices earlier this month to watch NASA's Perseverance rover successfully touch down on the frigid surface of Mars. Captured in never-before-seen levels of detail and at multiple camera angles, this astonishing technical feat was a landmark of human ingenuity and a moving tribute to the audacity of 21st century engineers. So what's the rover actually going to be doing now it's up there? Join us today as we meet the ultimate poster child for remote working and discover what is NASA's Mars 2020 mission. Perseverance was christened by Alexander Mather, a bright seventh grader from Springfield, Virginia, who won a NASA essay competition with his lofty name idea back in March 2020. The rover, which engineers apparently nicknamed Percy for short, has three broad aims. The first is to scour Mars's landscape for clues that might hopefully shed light on whether or not life existed there before the planet became uninhabitable. Its second aim is to prepare the ground, so to speak, for future manned missions. Percy's third aim is so cool, we won't tell you what it is until later in the video. Let's look at all three aims in turn. First and foremost, Perseverance is hoping to spot traces of the microbial life scientists reckon may have been present, or even hyperabundant, some three billion years ago. Back then, it's believed, conditions on Mars were probably strikingly similar to those on Earth. To this end, the mission was plonked down in a region known as the Jezero Crater. Scientists chose this 28-mile-wide geographical feature, situated on the western edge of the vast flat Isidus Plain north of the Martian equator, because Jezero once contained a lake. Orbital reconnaissance from existing satellites suggests the crater contains clays which only ever occur in the presence of water. Back on Earth, similar clays have been identified in the Mississippi River Delta, and in those clays, signs of life are relatively easy to spot. The colossal historic impact which formed the deep Jezero crater also exposed rocks that could be as old as 3.6 billion years, a prime candidate for the biosignatures so hoped for by scientists back at NASA Mission Control. But location aside, how is Perseverance actually going to search for life? A suite of cutting-edge instruments bolted onto the 10-foot-long rover will analyze rocks in situ and send back detailed data and images to salivating researchers on Earth via three communications antennae. These powerful instruments include the adorably named dynamic duo of Sherlock and Watson, which together use ultraviolet imaging and high-resolution cameras to make sense of the diverse textures and fine-scale mineralogy of the Martian terrain. Together, Sherlock and Watson should provide tantalizing clues about the presence of life even billions of years after it perished, however elementary it was. There's more. The so-called Pixel is a compact, lunchbox-sized X-ray spectrometer on Perseverance that's seeking evidence of past biological activity, especially biofilms like the tartar on your teeth on carefully selected rock and soil samples. But without a doubt, the coolest piece of kit mounted on Perseverance is its SuperCam. SuperCam identifies a target rock that's ripe for investigation. It then fires a tiny pinpoint laser, accurate from up to 7 meters away. When that powerful beam hits the rock, the laser impact sends up a lightning-quick superheated cloud of plasma comprising free-floating ions and electrons. Percy's specialist onboard camera and spectrograph read this plasma signature and can from this alone identify the chemical composition of the rock. The right chemicals could prove definitively that life once existed on Mars. Remember, this all happens at a range of 20 feet from the rover itself. SuperCam has an even cooler trick than that up its sleeve. The device is also fitted with a microphone, one of two mounted on Perseverance, that records the fast staccato pop generated by the SuperCam laser as it hits the target. Based on the tonal quality of that pop, Perseverance can ascertain how hard the rock is, and by extension, whether it was first formed on a lake bed or windy exposed environment. Pretty neat. All this live processing happens thanks to the rover's two identical brains. It keeps one as a backup. The radiation-hardened CPU has a PowerPC 750 architecture, works at 200 MHz speed, and is capable of compressing images and video in situ before uploading them to Mission Control and its unaccountably popular Twitter account. As well as analyzing rocks in the field, Perseverance is also setting out to physically drill for samples, seal them up, and leave them in witness tubes on the Martian surface ready to be collected and couriered back to Earth by an as-yet unscheduled follow-up mission. Watch this space. The second big aim of NASA's Perseverance mission is to smooth the pathway for future potential manned missions to the Red Planet. In one respect, this mission has already been a success. Its smooth touchdown occurred thanks to an elaborate ballet of new technologies working in concert to refine landing techniques, a perennial problem for Mars missions. For instance, Perseverance's all-new terrain relative navigation uses detailed onboard mapping, cleverly cross-referenced with input from the craft's onboard cameras to refine its landing zone to within a few meters. Finding such a sweet spot is critical in such a rugged and potentially hazardous landscape. 
A sophisticated range trigger system also helps to autonomously deploy the mission's parachute in order to better refine the landing and avoid overshoot. After all, if touchdown were to happen even a mile or so outside the designated area, that could add months or even years to the mission duration. Four cameras and a dedicated onboard microphone were also deployed during the landing to generate and send home as much data as possible to help engineers plan future missions. Now safely on the surface, another way Perseverance is helping pave the way for manned missions is with a little thing called MOXIE. MOXIE, which stands for Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, is investigating the possibility of generating life-giving oxygen directly from the 96% carbon dioxide atmosphere of Mars. Roughly the size of a car battery, MOXIE works by diffusing CO2 through a non-porous disk of yttria-stabilized zirconia, or YSZ, sandwiched between two porous electrodes. Using a smart dual process of thermal dissociation and electrocatalysis, an atom of oxygen is liberated from the abundant atmospheric CO2, picking up two electrons through those porous electrodes, then combining it with a mate to make good old O2. If it works, NASA would hope soon to send a MOXIE unit 100 times larger to generate and store oxygen that's pure enough to breathe, and maybe even provide the basis of a fuel source to help bring future Martian astronauts back home safely to Earth. Perseverance also holds a neat device known as MEDA, or Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, designed to provide precise measurements of temperature, wind speed and direction, pressure, relative humidity, and the specific size and shape of passing dust particles. And in case you thought this mission was only concerned with the planet's surface, the so-called RIMFAX, or Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment, is a metaphorically groundbreaking device that's designed to unobtrusively probe as far as 10 meters under the ground, hunting for evidence of ice and even briny water, which would help those potential future settlers out no end, as you can imagine. So, what's the third aim of the mission? Tucked away underneath the Perseverance rover is one of the most audacious, certainly James Bond-esque, scientific wheezers yet dreamed up by NASA. Ingenuity, as it's known, is a helicopter, and it hopes to set a one-of-a-kind record for the first powered flight on another world. The plan is for Percy to identify a suitable helipad location. When it does, Ingenuity will be carefully released from the bottom of the rover to carry out a few pioneering test flights. For its first foray, the plan is to just take off a few feet and hover for up to 30 seconds. We should see footage of this when it happens from the helicopter itself and its proud parent Perseverance. Ingenuity has onboard solar panels that charge lithium-ion batteries, which should provide enough juice for a 90-second delight a day. Weighing in at a trim 1.9 kilograms, Ingenuity is a potential game-changer, and its descendants will provide significantly more agile probes than the familiar rovers, and maybe even one day carry payloads or passengers. The engineering required to create lift in such a thin atmosphere should not be underestimated, and required many hundreds of hours testing in special vacuum-controlled environments back on Earth. And it runs on perennially unfashionable operating system Linux. So there you have it. With Percy acting as its eyes, ears and nose, kind of, on the Martian surface, NASA hopes to finally uncover that elusive proof of life, pave the way for an exciting future manned colony, and fly an honest-to-goodness helicopter above the dusty surface of another world. Perseverance, apparently, really does pay off. What do you think? Is the general public too blasé about space missions these days? Did you appreciate quite how incredible the Supercam was before this video? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more high-rolling tech content.